All right, we're back with your health headlines, and we're almost at the end of this year, and Project Amistad is looking to hire more bus drivers in 2023. Now, here to talk more about that hiring process is Mike Pacheco. Welcome, Mike. Thank you. Good morning. So, uh, you know, more bus drivers mm -hmm. needed. What okay. exactly, in what areas are, mm -hmm. you know, those drivers needed? Mm -hmm. Well, during COVID, we lost a lot of uh, ridership and a lot of drivers, so we're barely starting to build up our, our fleet again. And basically, Amistad has several different programs. Uh, we have programs for patients that go to dialysis, medical programs, uh, get their groceries. We also have contracts with the county. We do different things for the county. So basically, we're looking for non-CDL and CDL drivers. That's right. You know, I, I feel like I always see the Amistad buses driving around, the, you know, doing what you guys do. So what mm -hmm. can people know more about the qualifications and mm -hmm. what they need to to do to apply for the process? Sure. They have to be 21 years of age. Mm -hmm. And like I said, they do not need a CDL, but they do have to have a clean driving record for seven years. And under this program, like I said, we would be able to put you under different, um, like let's say we have a Sun Metro program or mm -hmm. we have a 5310 program, just depending on what the needs are at that time, we, we intertwine the, the programs and the drivers. So basically, it's not like you're gonna be doing one program and stick on that program. We try to mix it up so that the drivers don't get bored or we try to mix it up so that they learn the different programs that are offered. Amistad was actually started in 1976 yeah. in transportation, wow. but we are a one-stop shop which has uh, counseling services, we help with water and things like that. But I know everyone knows us from our transportation program and our buses that they see around town. So about how many more drivers are needed for this, this year? We're looking to start off with about 20 drivers. 20. So it's a good number. Mm -hmm. And the good thing to that is it's a mix of part-time and full-time. Oh. Uh, we can do it as a supplement for school. We have a lot of people that like to uh, work part-time because of school, or there's other people that have full-time. And the thing to that is we operate from roughly three o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock at night. So there's a lot of flexibility as far as the schedule goes. And they have great benefits. I mean, we have the standard 401k, the, mm -hmm. the PTO days, uh, life insurance, medical insurance, dental insurance. So it's a good agency, a lot of good benefits that it offers. Are you able to talk about how much you know pays or range or? Is well, it actually, it's going to be a new pay package. Okay. It hasn't been finalized yet, so we're still looking at that right now. But it's going to be comparable. Right now, we're probably high compared to our competitors. We do have a couple more that pay a little bit higher, but we are looking at that to put in a new pay package. Oh, nice. So definitely benefits, mm -hmm. pay, competitive pay, definitely. flexible hours, mm -hmm. good to know. Um, what about the hiring process, the application process? Well, what do people need to do? Sure, they can do one of two things. If in today's day and age, everybody likes to go on the internet, mm -hmm. fill out an application on the internet at www.projectamistad.org under transportation. Or if they like, they're more than welcome to come into our office at 3210 Dyer and fill out a hard copy application. Once we get the application, then we schedule interviews with the driver, with the potential employee, and then we call them and we have a training process. So what we do, we wouldn't just throw them out there, yeah. they would go through company training. All right, and just real quick, how soon are you all looking to hire? Um, soon, very yeah. soon. We're looking at starting in January, getting people on board, putting them through the training process and putting them out on the streets. All right, Mike, so uh, anything else you would like to add for anybody interested in applying? Um, like I said, uh, we're, f we're a good agency, good benefits, and we're looking for some happy new faces to come aboard. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. All right, and then we'll be right back after this break.